Hello guys, welcome to Dancehall's online lectures. Today basically we're going to look at the cell wall of the bacteria. Um, the bacteria are organisms that play a very important role in our ecosystem, um, ranging from both positive and negative impact in the society. Um, why is it so special to um, discuss on the cell wall structure of the bacteria and not the cell wall structures of the plants. Yeah, of course, uh, bacteria, they played an important role ranging from positive and negative. And because of that, um, the idea of studying this organism to understand their ways, the patterns they use to cause infections and their beneficial part will be fully understood after understanding what bacteria is. Um, these bacteria, they have a unique cell wall structure, as we mentioned in our former lecture that we call the peptidoglycan, as it is also called the moric acids. Um, this cell wall structure of the bacteria, I mean most of the bacteria, because not every bacteria have cell wall structure. Um, examples are the mycoplasm and then the cell form bacteria. These are um, classes of bacteria or genus of bacteria that do not contain cell wall structure. Um, the exceptions are okay, these two genus of bacteria do not have cell wall. Okay, so but 99% of bacteria possess this cell wall structure. So basically today what we are going to do is, we are going to look at the cell wall structure of bacteria. Now, when we look at the cell wall structure, as it is called in bacteria, the peptidoglycan or the moraine, moraine um, the composition is like this. Uh, their cell wall consists of two main sugar molecules plus one tetrapeptide. Um, these two sugar molecules, as they are called the NAG and then the NAM, that is the N-acetyl glucosamine and N-acetyl muramic acids. So these two basically are su um, sugar molecules. And there is a tetrapeptide that forms cross-linked between these two sugar molecules. So that is the representation here. Uh, this is the NAM, that is the N-acetyl muramic acid. And this is the NAG, that is the N-acetyl um, um, glucosamine acid, glucosamic. okay? So you will see that there is a cross-linked between the NAM molecules that forms the um, tetrapeptides. And basically tetrapeptides, it comes from this term, four main, four main peptides are joined together. So we call it tetrapeptides, four main molecules, different ones. As you can see them here, it's one, two, three, four. So these are four different um, peptide bones that forms. So that's why we call it tetrapeptides. So these tetrapeptides plus the NAM and then the NAG, basically these are the components of the cell wall structure of the bacteria. And um, these four tetrapeptides, um, they are the L-alanine and then the D-glutamine and then the L-lysine, and then the D-alanine. All these are peptides. So they combine to form this tetrapeptide structure of the bacterial cell wall. So basically, this is the composition of the bacterial cell wall. However, it should be understood that the cell wall structure, that is the peptidoglycan layer of the bacteria, is different from gram-positive bacteria to gram-negative bacteria. Their cell wall structures are different. We are going to look at the differences between the structures of the cell wall in gram-negative and gram-positive bacteria in our, lect in our lecture coming. <clears throat> so I hope it is going to help. Any question, feel free to write your question under the video at the channel. I will respond. Enjoy the video.